Hey guys, it's Darlene with Taco Tour. How are you? Thanks for joining me. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to ink this cute little onesie. Isn't this just so sweet? It goes rawr. <laughs> this onesie is a girl's onesie. It has cute little ruffly stuff up here. So we're gonna do this in girly colors. Girls love dinosaurs too, don't they? So if you don't know what this is, this is a chalk couture silk screen transfer. It is similar to a stencil, but it has a silk screen in it. We are gonna fold our little corners under so it's easier to peel this up off of here. And we're gonna use ink today. So we have ink and it is permanent. So our ink is a different consistency than our chalk paste. It's very creamy. You do not have to add water. It will be the perfect consistency. Now we could use a ink mat under here or we can use simply a piece of cardboard. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna slip cardboard under here. The ink mat will hold your, your fabric perfectly flat and allow it to not move around. So an ink mat is great. We have ink mats, you do not have to have that. You can use a piece of cardboard. So I just wanna show you that. So don't panic if you have everything and you go, oh goodness, I forgot to buy my ink mat. No worries, cut a piece of cardboard to put underneath your surface and you are not gonna fuzz this guy. Most of our transfers, when you use chalk paste and, or you use, um, when you put this onto another surface, you're gonna fuzz your transfer so it does not peel up um, the, the paint or so it doesn't stick too heavily. On fabric, you want it to stick super tight and you are going to lay it down, get it so that it is straight and then you're gonna get all your air bubbles out. And we're gonna be really careful with this guy. Um, sometimes I'm concerned that I might get some on the edges. If you are messy and you're worried about that, you're just gonna put some blue painters tape around this. I suggest this when you are doing this for the first time or if um, children are doing this. This will help protect your project and it will make it so that you're not disappointed because you accidentally went over the side. So blue painter's tape is great to have on hand. Our trans, <clears throat> excuse me, our transfers are reusable. So after we're done with this, this little guy is gonna go into a water bath and we are gonna wash it and we're gonna be able to use it again. So I'm gonna do the top part here. Our ink does not dry quickly, so I don't have to work as fast as you do with our chalk paste. So I'm gonna put a little bit up there and my Cricut Easy Press is talking to me. It's telling me I want to turn off. I have it heated up. We're going to heat set this with that afterwards. And you can use an iron. You do not have to have a heat press. An iron works perfectly fine. If you're doing a lot, you probably would want the heat press because it only takes 30 seconds. Okay, don't overwork your area. Get it on and squeegee it off. And now we're gonna do our dinosaur, we're gonna do in purple. How cute is that? So I'm just spreading some of my ink and then I'm gonna take my little squeegee and we're going to, we're gonna go down first. We're gonna make sure we fill this whole silk screen. Getting right up here. I don't wanna pull my other color into it. Make sure you have this speed at the bottom. And then you're gonna scrape off the excess. So go ahead and go down, put the excess back into your jar because we can use that. Okay, and now we're ready to pull this off. Check your fingers. If you need a Clorox wipe, wipe your fingers. We're gonna check them again after we pull this off too. So you're gonna put your blue painter's tape into the trash can. You're not gonna use it again. We're just gonna throw it away. I buy lots of big rolls of this stuff. So it is something that you're gonna use with, with your chalk paste and with your inks. Okay. 
you're going to go ahead and you're going to peel from the top. I like to fold my corners under, under. it gives me a place to, to kind of pull from. And then we're going to go straight down. We're going to make sure that we got everything. I can see that there's a little bit on the roar on a, <laughs> that did not get completely covered. I'm just laying it down. This is my chance to fix that. So if you have to do that, just take a little bit and just go ahead and squeegee that on. And let's check our little guy as we pull down. Okay, his tail over here. So this is your opportunity to fix that. So just dip it into your chalk paste or your, you know, into your ink. Sorry, guys. I don't do ink very often. So, okay, let's go ahead and check it again. How we looking? Okay. All right, perfect. So this is going to go into my water bath. We're going to wash those right away. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, dry this with my heat gun and then we're going to use our heat press. So you just want it to be dry. If you don't have a heat gun, you're just going to leave it there and let it dry for a couple of hours. dry than the um than your chalk paste okay so it is dry enough to go ahead and heat set this um it's looking a little wet up there let's just do this another few seconds All right, so I'm gonna put this mat under here. This comes with the um, Cricut Easy Press. And we are going to heat set this. I have my heat press set at 305. We are gonna take parchment paper. Don't use wax paper, parchment paper. It's gonna go over this little guy. And I have this set for 30 seconds. So at 305 degrees for 30 seconds. If you are using your iron, you are just going to set it to whatever the temperature is for that fabric and you're gonna you're gonna iron for three or four minutes so the heat press is really quick and it, de it delivers an accurate um, heat to it so that's a great thing about it but you do not have to have it we're gonna heat set it on both sides and then it's gonna be permanent all right so we're gonna turn this inside out and I did still have my cardboard in there and that's absolutely fine. You would not want to have your heat mat in there. Your heat mat would, would start warping and bending. You always want to take that out, but it was okay to keep the, the cardboard in there. And this time I'm going to put um, a piece of parchment paper in there because you wouldn't want that to go onto the other side. So we're just protecting it. So I'm heat setting both sides. Okay, so I'm gonna put a piece of parchment paper here. We're gonna do 30 seconds again. Okay, so my, my Cricut Easy Press is set at 305. Press my little button. It does this for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna be done, guys. This is such a quick, easy project. You can make these at a baby shower. You can make it for a baby shower present, but you could do this. You could have these set up at a baby shower and have people make these for the mom and just have different size onesies. How fun would that be? And here we go. Almost done. All right. So let's turn it right side out and I'll show you. We are all done. This is permanent. It will last. You can wash this again and again. I have many shirts that I've made and I've, I've laundered them and they are perfect. They stay, so your ink is permanent. All right guys, how cute is that? And it doesn't feel like some of the inks that you have like a 
some of the stores it kind of feels a lot different it doesn't it just feels like the fabric it's you can kind of feel it but it's perfect oh my gosh this is so cute all right if you have any questions or you want to know more about chalk couture just leave me a message i will get back with you it's an awesome company and they have great product and that's it guys thanks for joining me have a great day